I trimmed the fat off of the outside and the silver skin. So I get it as clean as possible on the outside. Most of the fat cap is already cleaned off of it before I get it. And you'll find that happening a lot uh, in the industry now. You don't get, like I said, whole carcasses and all that. And you won't find a, a lot of meats with the fat cap on it. They take most of the fat cap off and get it ready for packaging. What we're going to do is cut it about an inch thick. Cut pieces like that. And then from there, we need to determine, well, we know we want five ounce portions. So what I'm going to do, I see uh, the fat here. I want five ounce portion. I see there's a, some fat here. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to cut around here, get that out. That looks like a good portion. Next thing I'm going to do is cut this out. This looks like a good portion. And I'm going to trim this up. And maybe have someone pound that. That can be added to the beef or to a cut that's smaller. And then you'll have a whole portion. You can put two or three pieces together. All right. When we get the portions cut to the size that we want, um, this is about five ounces. Sometimes, even if you get five ounces after you cook it, it will shrink. It will lose a lot of, uh, lot of weight. So if you go over a little bit, it doesn't matter. And sometimes we have to come back and put an extra piece with it anyway. Use my meat mallet. Get a hot pan going. I, I just just need to stop in pans. These are for sauteing. I'm gonna pound it flat. Get fat there, that will cook out. And notice when I'm pounding, I, I do a, a nice arch on the meat. It depends on how hard I want to hit the meat. So you raise your hand up and get a nice arch on it. You pound it flat, season it. A little oil is down there. I need one of those hot real fast. Yes. Season the meat up. So we're going to get ready to sear it. I'm going to go ahead and cut those other pieces up. So we're going to use that anyway. Um. Okay, you got a pair of tongs. I'm going to let you do the cooking over there. You can go ahead and switch to the oven cam. You get the pan. Okay. Just one. All right, we're going to let the pan get real hot. We have just a little bit of oil in the pan. The purpose of searing or braising is uh, actually you braise with liquid. So you don't need to put a whole lot of oil in the pan. The only reason I put the oil in the pan is so that the meat doesn't stick in the beginning. So once um, the liquid comes out, um, that's 
basically what you're trying to do. You're, you're searing the outside of the meat so you can seal the juices in. Uh, once you get some um, coloring on the meat, you take it out, you put it in another pan, um, you deglaze the pan with some stock or wine, and then you put that liquid over the meat in another pan, then cover the whole pan. That's braising. Uh, actually, it's called braising and stewing. Okay, pan's about ready. Okay, I'm going to put it in and you watch it. Get it real hot, put the meat in there, let it, let it almost brown on each side. Cook that pink. He's, what he's trying to accomplish is he's going to get the redness out of the meat. And remember with braising, you're not using thermometers because you're not looking for a specific temperature. What you're looking for is tenderness. So you would take something, pull the meat apart to see how tender it is, or um, um, you know, just do it by sight. Uh, when you're cooking pot roast or something like that, you want it to just don't you don't move it, let it let it sear. Thin piece of meat. Okay. Yes. But remember, what we're trying to do is serve um, like a cutlet piece of meat using a tough piece of meat. So if this meat was already tender, I wouldn't have to braise it like that, okay? Or it, as long, okay? Actually, tender meats can be braised and served right away if they're real tender. But since this is a little tougher, um, we have to braise it a little longer to make it tender. Okay, so it, it would only be done with, with a tougher piece of meat, meats that require a lot more cooking time. So see we got color, you can see the color on the meat, good color, uh, caramelization is what you're looking for. Um, if you were braising with liquid, um, again, grayish color is fine, but with uh, meats like this, uh, some color in it will help your end presentation when you put it on the plate. Sometimes they'll cut a whole piece of meat like this and make a, a roast, um, sear the whole thing and then put it in a pot with some vegetables and things and cook, cook it down that way. And that's a meal for a whole family. Okay, what we got? All right, it's cooking very nice. All right, good. So we're going to take the meat out of the pan. Pour some of the oil off. Pour a little oil in there. Put that back on. Then what you do is you take a stock, deglaze your pan. Stir it around a little bit. Yes. Uh, 